Okay, so in this video, this is the second part of me repacking my coins. And today it will be my quarters and my nickels. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into them. Oh, this is slippery. Just a second. Alright, sorry about that. That last staple dropped in my floor and I had to find it. Alright, anyways, back to what I was doing. That time I'm doing it stuck. Alright, now I can set this to the side. Alright, now what I need to do is get two of the plastic holder pieces. Good fit, and then find the way the pieces go on. Sorry about that. It's a bit off center, and I'm not sure I like that so much. Funny how this one's act. Funny how this two by two is actually cooperating with me. Yeah, I'm surprised it actually cooperated with me this time. So now, I'm going to go get my coin storage box for these, and then set it in there. All right. I now have my coin storage box, which has all of the coins I showed in my previous video right here, which was my pennies and my dimes that I did. This video is the quarters and nickels, and the last one is going to be half dollars, these. And then my one and only current Morgan dollar. Alright. Now that that one's out of the way, I can go ahead and start on one of my less, uh, less better uh, barber quarters.
Also, if you're curious about where I got all these supplies, I got them from Little Tin Coin Company. And each of these holders were 89 cents each, so I think that's a pretty good price for all of these. And I got quite a lot for if I want to put coins I get in the future in these. So if you want to check them out, head over to littletoncoincompany.com and you can just and you can check out all the stuff all the cool stuff they have there. It's weird how the first time I did this in uh, part one video, these two by twos would hardly cooperate with me. Now they're super easy. I'm flying through this video. What it seems like. Perfect. Oh, and before I forget. I also ordered a third airtight coin container, 19 millimeters, and this was in fact from a 1909 VDB penny that I showed off in a video in a video a few months earlier. So if you want to check that one out, you can. I'm not forcing you to, but you do what you want. Now that all I would get that out of the way. I can hopefully uh, speed through the rest of this. I just realized how low I am on these because it takes two of these to hold one, and I have two of these. So uh, by the time of the, by the time I'm done with the quarter, I'm gonna run out of these. But better get to doing this. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, but this bar recorder right here was, in fact, the very first one I, the very first old coin I ever picked up. I got it at a flea market in Tennessee a couple of years back in, like, 2016 to 2017. And that's really how I started coin collecting. There's a neat little fact right there. I also picked up some other coins from a flea market in Tennessee later on. They were in really bad 2 by 2s like these, so later on I bought some newer cardboard 2 by 2s and then moved them to these current ones. And now I'm moving them to plastic 2 by 2 so now here we are. Moving them to hard plastic 2 by 2s and air tots. Okay. 
Yep, I'm about out of these. But for some reason, they gave me uh, this uh, this much 2x2s uh, two two for my nickels, which I think is a bit strange. I thought I had enough to last me a while, but looks like I'll be revisiting their website soon to pick up some more quarter size 2x2s. Two but they only cost, like I said, they only cost 89 cents, so I'm sure it won't be that much, depending on how much I, I want to order. Like I said before, I picked these up at a flea market. Some of these I picked up in a flea market in Tennessee. Yeah, they were really bad because the plastic on one of the sides of them was falling out. So I had to try and repair it by using tape, but I don't think, I, I didn't think that was such a good idea now, but that was 2016 to 2018 me. Of course, I'm a lot better than that now. And here's the last two of my quarter two by twos. Great. Hold on just a second. All right, so I had to spend some time cleaning the adhesive and bits of paper off of this since they apparently don't know about plastic stickers and a little bit of the back of this came off so I had to spend a lot of time cleaning that right. so there's that mm. Not the best one, but it's still okay. Alrighty, that is it with the quarters. So I guess that I can put them in my storage box. Looks like I'd have room for just one more in here in this part. So that's good. Oh, it's getting quite heavy. There's the rubber band for it. Now I can start on the nickel, so I need uh, one, two, five, so that'd be ten of these. Alright, so let's get started. Yeah, when I picked these out, I was not the best at choosing the different sizes for what I needed. My handwriting was not the best. Sweet hell, like I said before, the staple remover nor these plastic 2x2s two two were cooperating with me. Now, they're barely giving me any trouble. So, I guess I better go. Guess I better accept that while I can. They stop cooperating with me again.
Yep. There's that one. And there they go again. Not wanting to cooperate. This table just went flying, but it somehow landed back where uh, all the other staples were, which I'm keeping right here, out of view. There's another little piece of information for y'all. Two more.
All right, final one for this video. And y'all can finally leave this video if y'all have watched it to the, if anyone here has watched to uh, this point. Alrighty, that is all for this episode, and in the next part I will be doing my hat, my dollar coins, and my half dollars. So until then, I will see you guys, guys and gals in the next episode, and that is it for this episode. So, guess I'll see you. See you till next. See you next time.